Hey there everybody, oh, welcome to this week's vlog. I am, as always, Adrian1039. Uh, today, it is Sunday, July 22nd, and here I am in a downtown Corpus Christi. I'm uh, enjoying the weather in the shade because holy crap is it hot outside. I'm just gonna hang out, uh, wait for my friend, um, and uh, definitely, if nothing else, just, just enjoy the view. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, July the 25th, 2018. Uh, I got out of work a little while ago, finished eating. Uh, on Sunday, of course, I went to uh, the downtown area. Uh, first off, there's there, there's two parts to this. So first, uh, you know, uh, I met up with my with my friends. Uh, we they have a dog. And so we ended up going to the dog park there and that was fun. Um, you know, it was getting later in the day, just, you know, we were out there earlier. So uh, thankfully my mom was nice enough to come pick all of us up, drop them off, bring me back home. I rested for a bit. I, I did that because an hour, pretty much after, pretty much about an hour after I got home, uh, my friend was coming to pick me up to go downtown. <laughs> uh, this time though, we were going to Executive Surf Club. Uh, our friends uh, usually do a little hangout there every other week. So uh, my friend, beautiful, wonderful, sweet, amazing, awesome Joshua, uh, drove out, picked me up and drove back to the downtown area. You know, it would have been much quicker to just drive straight downtown, but no, he ended up coming over here to me and back. So much appreciated, thank you. Uh, and so yeah, we hung out. That was also a lot of fun. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, you know, Monday and yesterday, just, just working. Uh, yesterday, no, not yesterday. Monday, I was pretty tired. It knocked out early. Tuesday, yesterday, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some of the same thing. And so uh, today, uh, I, I noticed something, something else I wanted to talk about that caught my attention concerning um, adaptable or adaptive controllers, like video game controllers. Uh, there's an organization called Able Gamers. I'll link to it down in the description. They do a lot of amazing, that word amazing does not do it justice, like what they do to help people with, with severe disabilities or any kind of disability uh, you know, ad adapt for them, just a, a way for them to be able to access gaming. Um, it's, it's, you know, for someone with a disability, you know, like anybody else, it, it's a, it's a form of escapism, entertainment, what, what, you know, relaxation, what, what have you. And, you know, unfortunately there's, there are a lot of people out there who don't have the capability of you know holding a PS4, an Xbox controller, Nintendo Switch, those controllers can make it um, a, a bit easier because it's smaller. But again, it all depends on everybody's disability because everybody's different. Um, I want to say that I'm very fortunate because of the way the disability affected me. I have limited mobility, but the mobility that I do have. I'm in full control of being able to to game is is one thing that you know I'm I've never really thought about before uh, until charities like able gamers came out for the most part I've never really had any frustrating issues about being able to access a remote control uh, a video game controller uh, but again that's me uh, for, for other people who are handicapped who are disabled who have uh, you know limited mobility issues with their arms hands whatever what what have you it can be a major issue and uh, again the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Xbox or Microsoft excuse me the owners of Xbox they're coming out with an Xbox adaptive controller um, I've heard about it 
wondered, I've, I've heard rumblings about it like months ago, um, but just uh, some more information has, you know, come to light. Um, for one, the, the controller is, it sounds really cool. It has a lot of um, jacks and, you know, uh, ports available to, to add extra things on it depending on what you need. One of the things that really caught my attention uh, earlier today is their packaging and I'll link to that also uh, at the bottom but they have packaging that people with disabilities can open with their teeth. The 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 not not just the fact that they're building a, a game controller that can be adapted uh, to any person's situation uh, is amazing enough but the effort just into the packaging for me shows how committed they are to this and it's it's something that should be applauded that that you know in a perfect world should already be available to anybody and everybody again not just with the not not, not just with the controller itself but making the package as simple as possible for anybody to open, uh, no matter what your disability may be. And uh, again, it's one of those things that I'm sure a lot of people take for granted. And again, I'm sure I do as well. Being able to open a package without an issue, it's a small thing, but you have no idea the impact it can have on someone. A gigantic, gigantic kudos to Microsoft for going out of their way to not only work on this controller but to work out every little detail uh, so everybody can game and do with as little uh, difficulty as possible and again just the fact that they're detailing the packaging uh, and not just you know it's not just researchers if the article is to be believed they are they have actually reached out to people with disabilities in figuring out how to best approach the packaging so thank you Microsoft who knows maybe if one day this this vlog takes off or something I'll go buy myself an Xbox one most companies especially giant corporations like Microsoft I've never seen go into this much detail and for them to do that it, it means a lot uh, it means a lot to me but I'm sure it means a hell of a lot more to those people who have been looking for something like this their whole lives. So, thank you. That, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today um, in keeping with the whole disability thing and accessibility. Uh, I ended up ordering something which shouldn't get to me until Friday. Uh, maybe Saturday at the latest. No, no, Amazon's pretty good. Hey, so, that should get to me on Friday. So... I'll see everybody then. Hey everybody, it is Saturday, July 28th, end of the vlog week, and uh, oh yeah, my <laughs> I got a I got a trim a little while ago. Uh, the mohawk does not look as even as last time. I think a little too much was left on this side, but I don't care. I wear a hat anyways. Uh, keeping with the theme of accessibility uh, in video games, you know, uh, I've talked before about Rock Band. Um, I'm addicted to the Rock Band drums. But another thing that I've never really talked about is their guitar. When Guitar Hero came out uh, originally, they had uh, five buttons here. And, you know, of course, you had the little strum bar. Because I can't stretch my arms out uh, all the way, uh, they only go about 90 degrees, it became difficult to uh, not only hit the buttons, but also strum down here at the same time. So I would stretch my arm here and kind of like bend my arm back a little bit in order for me to reach the strum bar. I still had fun with it. The farthest I could go was uh, medium difficulty. I couldn't go any higher just because of the difficulty in, you know, hitting the buttons and strumming at the same time. Along came Rock Band. You know, they, they had a, a similar guitar design, uh, the buttons were a little bit different, but something that they did with their design uh, allowed me to enjoy the game 
uh, as you know much more than I ever could with Guitar Hero. They added buttons at the bo uh, towards the bottom of the neck. What made it so special for me is that it was so much closer to the strum bar. So, as you can tell, <laughs> I played this guitar a lot. The, the fingerboards on my actual guitars, I don't think have this much wear. <laughs> um, you know, I'm sure not everybody who is handicapped was able to fully take advantage of, of Guitar Hero, Rock Band, of their plastic instruments. Um, but for me, having these buttons allowed me and opened up a, like a completely new level of playing uh, on Rock Band. And being able to immerse yourself uh, in Rock Band, even with just a plastic guitar like it means a lot it means a lot having the button so much closer uh again allowed me to be able to go beyond medium difficulty to you know hard and expert uh, i guess I'll, I'll use this avenue to pretty much you know thank harmonics uh i doubt this video will ever be seen by them but you know what the hell i don't care this is my vlog so uh i definitely wanted to show my appreciation for having created uh something like this so, thank you. Thank you, Harmonix. I had alluded to something a few days ago. Because of the limitations of my right hand, I'm right-handed. Um, you know, I can't open my hands all the way. I can't stretch them out. I can't do this. Um, so they're pretty closed in. So when it comes to using a mouse, I, I pretty much go between like my index finger and my thumb, depending on you know how tired I am, depending on how much I'm using it. Uh, so this is pretty much how I use my mouse. Um, it can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, and I've thought about looking at other avenues. I've looked around and I found something and I wanted to try it out. And so I got this off of Amazon. I don't know the company it comes from. Apparently there's quite a few uh, companies that uh, produce uh, these types of like uh, mouse pens. It clicks. I purchased this uh, to see if it would help me uh, feel more comfortable in navigating uh, the computer, whether it be for work, whether it be for editing. Um, and I edited most of this vlog yesterday afternoon because this came in the morning. I I spent my time trying to you know get get a handle for this. I really really like the idea of a mouse pen. It's really handy for those who may have you know. Uh, wrist issues, hand issues, what have you. My only issue is, I don't know if you can tell, usually, especially when I have it like this, whenever I click the mouse, the, the pen moves. Uh, it became an issue because I couldn't really click on anything because it would move during the click. So when I first grabbed it, I, I started, when I would look at a link, I would double tap it. <laughs> this, is in the, this is in the tablet, it doesn't double tap. I'm still getting used to that. Uh, I feel like sometimes the mouse kind of holds me back uh, just with my lack of uh, comfortness with using the mouse so much, uh, especially when it comes to editing. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I've only had one day of use with it. I, I like the idea of it. Um, in practice, it's not as help, helpful as I thought it would be, but I'll, I'll keep giving it another shot and we'll go from there. Um, but that's it for me for this vlog. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope everybody uh, has had a, a great week, a great weekend. Uh, whenever you watch this, uh, I hope you enjoy yourselves. I hope you're having a good one. And until next time, bye.